We have the dual head nano siphon running again here in the backyard on what very well could possibly be the most water efficient setup you have ever seen. This is less than a gallon of water in total. Running this recirculatory setup here with the nano sluice and it's guessed the pay dirt for September, 2023. And yes, it's still hot in Arizona. It's 114 this weekend, you guys. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Hope you're having a good weekend. Vendetta Prospecting, we do a monthly video where we uh, feature someone's pay dirt. You guys got to guess the weight and the vendor in the comments on this video below. And every month we pick a winner on our live show and we give something out. We huck it to them. So I'm calling this the most water efficient cleanup sluice on the market as, as we speak, maybe. <laughs> I've done a couple of reviews on this bad boy. And uh, let's show you what material we're working with for the month of September. All right, and I've got all the material right in there. I'll give you a couple hints now. There's a guaranteed minimum amount of gold and it's a 100% ROI bag. So there's two little hints. All the same classification of material. Looks like really fine garnet sands. Uh, let me get you a couple pictures or a video of what it looks like under a microscope. All right, and as you can see, ooh, I think that might be a piece of shiny right there. But uh, we've got it pulled up here on the Tom Lob, and there's kind of what we're looking at. Some garnets, some fine pebbles. Let's get it zoomed in here a little further down. And, see. and a little closer to look gets us a little bit better picture. Close up of the material. All right, this is gonna go pretty fast. So I've got the pay dirt here. I'm gonna pour it in and do as best as a job as I can to kind of capture what it's doing. So here we go. Oh yeah. I can see some gold right up in here. And then we got it all funneling down into this graduated cylinder. Some of the really light stuff is coming up off the top. It's pretty surprising. This little bit of pressure can make that fine sand go up that high. And yes, there is surfactant in here. See, I got, got the Cascade brand today. And this is definitely some heavy material. It's feeding it very slow, which is totally fine. It is just taking a while to get over to the second head over here, but it's, it's exchanging just fine. And it's mostly getting captured in the graduated cylinder. And I will go through the tailings to kind of show you what, an, what it missed and how much get you a little bit more information on this stuff. As we do this, guess the pay dirt. Oh yeah. Now I've gone through this material once myself, uh, panning before, and I had a near impossible time recovering all the AU. So it's, it'll be interesting to see how well this little guy does. Cause this stuff is hard, very hard to pan. second head is working real hard and the first head has definitely got most of the heavier stuff as it starts to funnel on down towards the end here but all the action is really happening kind of right in there 
where the water is just sucking up some material and letting it bring it down, getting dropped into here, and then the lighter stuff gets re, it gets picked up again by the siphon action and pulled through the second head. And uh, we are almost done. There's very little bit left. Yeah, looking good, looking good. And we got our graduated cylinder almost filling up with the material here above the water line. And if you look down in there, that's all just blonde sands that's coming up out of there. So it's definitely separating the particles properly. And as we get done talking about that, we're done up there. let it clean out here for a second. I'm gonna shut it off and we'll empty the heads out. So catch up with you after I get this material dumped out into a pan. Most of the sediment is done transferring though. Sluice is cleaned out. This pan here, the Ortiz float, is our first catchment. Let me zoom you in on how fine this gold is. It's all very fine gold. So there's our first catchment. Our second catchment. Let's see. There's a couple little dots. Yeah, a couple little dots. Some dust. Yeah, the glare's out of the way there. You can see some dust. And we've got our tailings. So I'm gonna pan all this stuff down. Look at that gold, man. That is some nice smile right there. That is all garnet sands. If you can make that out on your phone or your TV, look at all that red stuff. That's all garnets naturally occurring. And this gold is from the area too. So make sure you get your guesses here in this video in the comments below as to who you think this dirt's from and how much gold we're going to recover here at the end. I'm going to get this gold cleaned up and I'll catch up with you in a minute. So what you're looking at now is the gold from the second catchment. Look at that dust, man. That's it. I got it all cleaned up. Dump the rest of that little garnet sands out. Now I'll move on to that pan right there. Whew, this is some tough, tough stuff. I'll tell you that much. All right, I think I did a decent job. That's not half bad. The microscope will truly tell us how much of that's garnet sands, but there's a little bit of black sands and some lead in there. And uh, I'm gonna get that dried up and we'll get under the microscope and then we'll weigh it. Not a bad little smile there. Look at that. All right. Got the gold drying up here. I'm gonna go through the tailings now. All right, and those I don't know, seven or eight little pieces that make up the top end of that pan. Ah, focus. That is what it missed. That's it. All right, check it out. There's a look at some of the gold under the microscope. We got a little bit of contamination in there. Pretty sure that's all either lead or... Actually, some of that's amalgam gold. You can see it. No doubt about it. There's some amalgam in there. Some mercury gold. Look at that piece right there. That's cool looking. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. Zoom in a bunch and focus it up. Yeah, look at that. That's some pretty gold right there. All very small. I'd say it's minus 30 and smaller. Let's get it on the scale. I'll get a couple more pictures of it. But you guys are going to have to guess the weight and the supplier in the comments below. Right. Now, those 22 pieces of gold, kind of a weird number, including those little dots of dust, 
you know, these little dots of dust in between, there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces right there. Those 22 pieces are what the Nano Sluice missed during this run, and uh, that's pretty impressive considering there's at least a few thousand pieces of gold. So uh, that was pretty good in my opinion, uh, and uh, we'll have to do some more stuff with this, of course, but it was pretty fun using it for these, uh, these sands here today. That's going to do it for me, Mike Vendetta, on this episode of Guess the Pater 2023 for the month of September. And we'll go ahead and give out some Arizona agates this month when we do our live show. A little agate pack with some stickers. So make sure to guess, and Thanks. we'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'll see ya.